32 ampere switch the neutral is also disconnected when the switch is off for this device to work the neutral cannot be disconnected at any point so we have the direct neutral which is coming from up from my main supply going into my other socket with us which has a switch and is connected also to this switch so the neutral comes in here and I spoke to customer care because it was a little tricky for me to understand this and uh, they advise that you remove the yellow neutral that's going to the motor as you can see I have an earth line and a neutral going down towards the motor the main supply is coming from top so the yellow wire that's the neutral that's going to the motor is connected not here as before it was but removed from here and connected directly here with the LED light as well. Now as this goes to the motor in between I gave it a cut joint it and put it on number two from the top with the reset button here and the LED here. So on number two from the top we have the neutral for the motor. The line is coming from the top main power supply, this wire over here. And I gave it a cut in between and put it on 4. So we're using 2 and 4. 2 is neutral and 4 is line. Give it a cut over here and put it in here in 4. And sent it to the switch. This is not a socket, it's a switch. So it's going into the entry point which is L2 in case of an anchor 32 ampere switch so 4 is going into that switch so we've got our line and our neutral in 2 and 4 now where the line comes out of this switch as the out is this okay and this was going straight to the motor with these blue and yellow wire. So what you do is you cut it in between. Once you cut this wire that's going to the motor from the switch, you put one end that's going to the motor on three and one end that's coming from the switch on one. So the wire that went from the switch as a line to the motor was cut in between and the motor end of it was put in three and the switch end of it was put in one. And that's how this whole system worked. Now keep in mind that uh, the diagram and the explanation in the uh, in the paper that comes with the device is inadequate instead of connecting your Wi-Fi to the device first you actually go for the AP setting which is the second setting which makes this device a Wi-Fi uh, device once it becomes a Wi-Fi device and it's blinking slow you connect with AP to this as a Wi-Fi device and that's when the app registers this device once the device is registered, you can normally connect from your Wi-Fi router. But the first step will be to go straight to the AP. Whereas in the description, in the, uh, in the notes as to how to go about it that comes with the device, it will say that you first connect it to your extension. And then if it doesn't connect, then you do this and that. But the customer care guy told me to directly use AP, make this a Wi-Fi, register the device on your app, and then connect it through your extended Wi-Fi router. So that's how this worked. I hope this is helpful. It's actually quite easy, but I this was my first time, so I had to take customer care support. Hope this video helps you. All the best. Bye-bye. 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 Ah.